that time you get ready to stream and you forgot to turn your mic on. <laughs> hey there, boys and girls. It's Mark, aka Cold Menace here, getting ready to start our Flight for the Kids um, charity thing. Um, so yeah, uh, what's happening is I am starting out today from Orange, Texas, which is where Extra Life began. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Tori Inman was a, a young lady who uh, had acute, uh, I can't, lymphoblastic leukemia, I think it was. Don't quote me on that one. Um, she uh, made a friend with a friend of the family. Um, a local DJ began to do game, did a game event um, in her honor and as a fundraiser. Uh, she eventually did lose her battle with cancer, but uh, the Extra Life program went on and expanded and has now become somewhat huge, um, raising, I believe it was $11 million last year for Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. So that's pretty great. And this year I am going to fly from Orange, Texas, where Tori was from, um, and I'm going to fly past all of the Children's Miracle Network hospitals that participate in the Extra Life program, which I believe is 157 of them in North America. So, yeah, here we go, right? Um, so it looks like uh, nobody's in the chats, so let's... um. Go ahead and get going then, I suppose. All right, let me find my stuff here. Okay, so... Whoosh. I think that's the... Nope, that's not the scene I want. I need to fix that. <laughs> That's where I was like, you know, poking around at stuff. Anyway, um, as you can see, we will be going from Orange County, Texas, um, to, uh, I believe our first stop is in Beaumont at Christus Southeast Texas St. Elizabeth Hospital. We will then bump up here to uh, Christus Southeast Texas Jasper Memorial Hospital. We will then pop it down here to Houston to check the uh, Texas Children's Hospital in Houston. We will then jet all the way down to Corpus Christi, where we will go past Driscoll Children's Hospital in Corpus Christi. Crispy. Corpus Christi. <laughs> it's going to be a good night. And then we will stop at uh, Corpus Christi International Airport. Uh, so the rule is each night I will stop. Um, at a, at an airport, as if I was actually flying, I will take off the next time from that same airport. So that's happening. Um, we will be flying this adventure for the most part in a TBM 930, uh, Dare TBM 930, uh, a turboprop plane. Um, it's a nice mix of prop driven general aviation type aircraft, but uh, being turboprop is fast, so this will hopefully take less time than it would, you know, in a Cessna with a cruise speed of like 90 knots. Um, but all right, let's uh, go ahead and get into this. I'm also going to fly this um, um, manually as much as possible. I may use autopilot when necessary while looking up something or you know doing that sort of thing but i will be trying to fly it manually uh we will also be have damage turned off because i'm going to be flying very low to get views of the hospital um and i you know don't want to start over because i crashed into a highway um I forgot to set my call sign again. All right, whatever. Okay, so here we are. Um, and it looks like... I'm going to try and fly it with local weather and stuff, but it looks like it's getting 
going to be dark real soon. I expected it would be lighter out there, but I guess it is already full dark here, so there you go. Sorry, let me get my mic. Okay, so let's do a thing. And this first takeoff might be... All right, parking brake off. Engine's going. Everything looks good. I think our... Flight plan should be in here, taking off Orange County, Beaumont 2, Beaumont 1, Houston, Corpus, and then Destination KCRP, Corpus Christi International. That all looks good. Okay. Sweet, let's do a thing. I'll be nice and tell them I'm leaving, I guess. I don't want to take off and remain in the pattern. I'm going to depart. N n d south, I think. Should have looked at that, I guess. Where's my map? <laughs> Who got my map? Uh, we will be departing west, actually. That an option here somewhere. There we go. Kilo Oscar Romeo Golf Traffic Dollar Alpha Sierra X Ray Golf Sierra Alpha taking off runway for west departure. All right. Here we go. Let's kick it, little airplane. Whoopsie. Still, I never used to play with rudders, and now I'm trying to do it, and, well, you've seen how well that works. Alright. Autobots roll out. Boom. Landing gear up. As soon as we attain positive rate of climb. Flaps go up. Let's zap ourselves around here. <laughs> and uh, if anybody is watching, please let me know what the stream is looking like and sounding like. Um, I can't. I have so many windows open and I'm running it all on one PC and it's not very happy at the moment. Tone our throttle down a little bit so we don't over rev or over torque, I guess, technically. Oops, and there it went anyway. What are you complaining about? Temperature is too high. There it goes. All right. Let's see if we can't get this thing trimmed out nicely. I kind of love that this thing sounds like an angry wasp. <laughs> okay, and just so as a note, that hospital is nowhere near 3,450 feet in the air, but, you know, I had to put a waypoint somewhere. It decided that was where it should be. Dream sounds and looks great. Thank you. I'm glad since, like I said, I am running this. My CPU right now is 99% load and 72 degrees. <laughs> All right, that's GPU. The CPU is 42% loaded and running at 60 degrees. So it's not enjoying life right at the moment. And I'm running OBS and the mapping software and everything else right here. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Uh, 
we get to this one pretty fast. I'm gonna slow down. Uh, what GPU am I running? It is a RTX 2080 Ti. And I'm driving a 38 inch ultra wide, like 3840 by 1600 with flight sim set to high settings, I believe. It didn't do ultra because it was dragging things down, but I'm still fucking 40, 40 ish frames a second most of the time. It's not too bad at all. Back in the day playing FSX, you would have killed for frame rates like that. But I am running OBS, the mapping software, an overlay gizmo for the flight overlays. <laughs> Got two editors open to change the hospital I'm flying to and the hospital I'm flying from. So there's a lot going on. All right, let's turn the speed down a little more. If I remember correctly, this waypoint will go away a bit earlier than I would like. So if I do look at something other than the hospital, I apologize. I am... I've never been to Christus St. Elizabeth in Texas, so I don't know what it's supposed to look like. I have GPS coordinates from Google Maps. I think what we will do here is set an altitude thing. Come on. Let's set it for 200 and autopilot me for a minute here. Just altitude. Okay, why did it just suddenly go to zero again? There we go. All right, I'm going to do that. We are going to try and look out the side window. If I can remember. There we go. <laughs> right in there somewhere should be the hospital. Ring. Okay, we are passed by now, so let's make our turn for the next one. Uh, uh, AP off. Throttle up. Gonna set altitude to two K. Got altitude mode on. I'm going to set heading hold as well. And kick the autopilot. Where's it going? Oh, I was already over two thousand. Okay. Anyway, so I can go fix my hospitals. Happy. I'll see. And our next one is Corpus Jasper. Jasper. Jasper Memorial. I'll save. Hey, that looks like it worked. Neat. Overlays. What kind of magic is that? Okay. Let's uh, turn on my flight sim here. Autopilot off. There we go. Let's trim for a little bit of a climb since we got a ways to go.
got a little wind today, apparently. What is the wind? Let's go. Let's turn on the fancy stuff on the plane here, shall we? Uh, BFD settings. Other wind option three. We've got three knot wind coming from just about behind us. So that's fun. That's a fun thing that's happening. All right, you go away. Because technically right now, I think we're probably flying illegally anyway. Certainly too low. And I'm ignoring, well, no one has said anything, but I also haven't announced myself to anyone. All right, let's set that back. Back. Uh, bu 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 something else I was going to do, but I've forgotten. Oh, seriously, I was just going to go do something, and I forgot what it was. I do like this plane that essentially... F you just throttle up. You don't have to mess with the prop settings, really. You can feather it if you want, but... Essentially, it's just set everything to high and go. You can't throttle all the way up because you get issues with the uh, torque being too high. Other than that, though... Weather is pretty beautiful. Com two set for Beaumont, but we'll be missing that one. All right. Whoa. We just cruise along for a bit. So we'll, we'll, let's go ahead and set hmm. Whoops, I apparently screwed up the buttons on my gizmo. Alright. Uh, decrease selected altitude. I'm going to set this to uh, no, 200 feet. That should be good. I think the ground is lower than that. We'll set it for 300. And when the time comes, I will pop that so it will take us down there to get a look at the hospital. I won't have to keep poking it. And if I go by your hospital, um, do let me know, especially if I miss it or I get pictures of the wrong thing. Uh oh. <sighs> Fuel imbalance, I believe that says. So this plane is supposed to automatically change fuel tanks with this gizmo right here. And it is on There we go. Now it's on auto switch. I guess it wasn't before. Did it switch? 
It did not. I'll switch it for now. Whoa! <laughs> Man, can you tell I'm not a professional pilot? Does uh, reason. All right, Master Caution off. Yeah, we're gonna have to set the time back. I didn't think it'd be this dark already, and I don't. Again, I don't know why they're not that far behind us, but. So I will have to set the time back a little bit so that I can see the hospital when we get, especially as we get down towards Corpus Christi. Because by then it'll be much later. Again, I love this plane. Sounds like an angry wasp. <laughs> like it's biting the air. <laughs> Dragging itself forward. People have complained about the flight model in Flight Sim 2020 not being terribly realistic, or they like Flight or uh, X Plane better, etc., etc. But you know, I'm okay with it because it's beautiful. Um, And, you know, like down in the lower right of the windshield, you can see the heat shimmer from the turbine exhaust. And like I said, I don't even have this on highest graphics. It's on high, not ultra. I can play on ultra when I'm not trying to stream it. And still pull in 45, 50 frames a second, but... Let's have this thing Let's set sync to current heading. Heading mode is on. Altitude mode is on. Let's set autopilot. And let's do uh, vertical speed. Is it? Oh, it is going down. All right. Interesting. I usually you have to tell it to do that. Doing weird stuff tonight. I think we're going to have a lovely sunset, which I will unfortunately have to reset. So I can see where I'm going. Get a little more dive here. like right there by Jasper Cobell just a bit farther on the kids um, I'm visiting all of the Children's Miracle Network hospitals in North America um, all the ones that participate in the Extra Life program anyway um, I 
It's going right over the airport. Alright, see again, it kicked out my... Alright, so we're gonna do... This, so I can see all of it, and we'll just autopilot over it. Where are you going, plane? Where are you going, plane? Where are you going, plane? <laughs> well, this is fun. I think it's that. Alright. Well, now let's go. What are you doing, plane? Where are you going? Didn't I have it on heading? I it did. It's ignoring me. I don't really know what it's doing at the moment. But I guess it's decided to head on to Houston. Or it's just going in a circle. Okay. Let's just turn that off. This thing climbs like a beast, too. As you can see, this would be pretty uncomfortable for anybody riding along, I think. But, you know, no one's riding along, so... something up. Okay, back we go. Whoops. What are we breaking? Oops, I got the throttle all the way up again. There we go. That is an amazing sunset, really. Okay. Let's trim this beast out again. trimmed out. I have noticed the trim control in here is either too slow or too fast. 
depending on which you want it to be. By which I mean it's the opposite of what you want it to be. So anytime you want to make a big move, it won't. Anytime you want to make small moves, it goes huge. Alright then. We are on our way to Houston. And we're climbing again. Where did that come from? Stop doing that. I've also never successfully got a rudder trim to work right. Cruising along 249 knots, that's not bad. Ground speed, 251 knots now. That's a little better than our Cessna would be doing. Still a good flight though. And I don't know, honestly, I, I have three hours for streaming tonight. I put four hospitals on the list. I don't know if I'm going to make them. We may have to stop short of one. Pick it up the next time. Oh, I got to switch hospitals again. We're heading for tech. I am moving, <laughs> pushing the wheel. Let me get the keyboard over here. Boom. All right. Yeah, the sun's going to go down way earlier than I expected. I will have to go back and turn time back a little ways. So we can see what's happening. Approach mode was on. Huh. Apparently I screwed that up. Also, while we're dorking about here, maybe I'll fix my stream deck. There we go. Oops, what just happened? Where'd it go? We got autopilot and settings working. And we're flying. This is kind of what it's like. <laughs> um, wow, that sunset is pretty astounding. Hopefully it's coming out in decent quality on the stream because it's amazing. Um, but yeah, once you get flying and you get things trimmed out like you're supposed to, there's really... Just, all you do is keep it from doing squirrely stuff. And, you know, again, I should note, not a professional pilot. Don't, don't learn anything from me. 
<laughs> Unless it's just for flight sim, because you'll die. Now this plane does have, so this is the Garmin G3000 suite down here. Um, I could literally fly this from here without needing to control anything, honestly. Um, it's pretty astounding. Because right now, if I hit nav mode on the autopilot and said go, it would fly us directly to the GPS coordinates I entered. This one will also uh, almost, almost, um, land for you. It cannot control the throttle. It can't put the landing gear down, but it will fly an approach and um, uh, an arrival and get you lined up with the runway and within a few hundred feet height and you kick the thing off and do it yourself from there. Yeah, all right. So what we're going to do, as much as I am enjoying that sunset, yeah, I can leave it for a little while. Once we get closer to Houston, I'll have to turn it. So that I'll have to turn time back so we can see the hospital. Because that was, I am going to try and fly it by normal weather and such. Like there was a thunderstorm through here today. Um, I did a little practice flight. Um, flew through that. There was some... Um, uh, it was lightning and high clouds and stuff, which was pretty crazy. Um, but, you know, it was fine. We made it. Every time I trim it, down a little bit, we speed up and it starts going back up. <laughs> Man, I'm not gonna lie, that sunset is just amazing. I almost wish there were some clouds for it to bounce off of, because it would be pretty great. doing that does it we could at least turn on oops apparently I've got a flashlight or something um where is light director see it didn't come on lies <laughs> altitude we got oh, let's turn on nav mode My director shit there it goes they should have shown us that we're flying generally that way. Look at that nonsense. How pretty is that? There's the moon up there. Crazy, man. Crazy. I don't know why my ETA gauge up there is working. It's 
it's got everything else, but it's not doing the, e the ETA correctly. I wonder if it's because I haven't started on the final light yet. I mean, technically, when we went... When we started from the airport, we went up, and then... Now we're going back south, so maybe it was confused. Or... Or... Maybe it's just stupid. I don't know. Overlay do correct. It did. Woo! And what is this thing with one turn left? Not turn left, bank left. There's an aileron trim, probably, right? You should figure out how you do that. this one do? Oh, I had to do something. Oh, the sun's almost gone. Let's uh, zoom in here. Watch this happen. Or I guess we can't because it's just right behind the nose. There it is. Last little sliver. And you know what? I'm flying. I can decide when we turn. How about that? Tiny sliver of sun. Alright, what I'll do is set time back as we go past Houston. And then I will set it back the other way. The live time. So we can fly in the dark. That'll be fun. cooking with gas. Okay, let's go ahead, turn on heading hold right here, and let's turn on the AP, and let's set forward. What's up, pilot? Set our vertical speed mode down. Turn our throttle down a little bit. GPU is at 74, is that bad? <laughs> uh, we're all 
also CPU is at 63. Well, that's water cooled though, so I would expect that to be pretty good. I don't know why they didn't put a water cooled GPU in here, but they didn't. I didn't build this one this time. I've been past this hospital before in practice, so I should be able to see it and pick it out. Hopefully. Hopefully. It's already looking pretty cool out there. I guess this is probably why Houston floods every time it rains. Look at that thing. This is a nice plane to fly, though. <laughs> I see traffic. Must be Houston. Oh, look, traffic jam. All right, I also need some help. Someone needs to help me figure out how to, or what incentives I should put up. So I don't want this to be completely dull for everyone. Um, I would like to do some sort of incentives. You could have me do, you know, some sort of um, aerobatics, uh, you know, do touch and goes at a military base. I don't know. You tell me. What do you want to see? What's everybody in for? one of the Houston airports over there. I don't know which one. Man, that button click is loud. <laughs> okay. surprised I haven't seen any other planes around, honestly. There's like nothing on the radar. So, yeah. Almost to Houston. Um, wow, we're still really high. I don't 
there's another plane. As soon as I say, there's another plane right dead in front of us. is high enough um because if not we're gonna <laughs> hit something <laughs> it seems like we're getting awfully low who knows how high i think we need to go up We're going to hit some buildings or something. All right. I think it's this road right up here. We go past the hospital. Dude. So. See, this is why I have damage turned off. Whack. <laughs> Stall. Stall. Because your speed is now zero. Okay. Well, let's see if we can figure out how to get out of this. us already. I don't think the gear is going to come out while we're setting on it. I might have broke us already. Beast, you can do it. No, <laughs> I think we could belly slide long enough to get it in the air. We don't seem to be having a lot of luck here. Okay, well.
want to restart. Can I just resume? No. Wow, what's he doing? <laughs> All right. Start this beast up. He set the parking brake? <laughs> Come on, man. Pause system test. Okay. Yeah, it is. No, he's not going to work his magic this time. Huh. There's a road. If I get to the road... <laughs> Necessarily. Don't want to just resume, but I don't think there's anything else I can set. Global settings. Chase camera, sound, traffic. Where did I turn this off? Is it in flight model? Is it, why is this acting weird? Um, boo, 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 boo. I wish I could disable crashes. It is disabled, it looks like. I would like to just literally move it up. Teleport window. I don't want to go. I 
I'm gonna go right here, just up. <laughs> I don't know what the slew controls are. Oh, the please. <laughs> This is going very well so far, I think, yeah? Power management, radio, miscellaneous... Instruments and systems, cameras, 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 slew, translate, up, F4. There we go. There we go. and roll. Alright. Okay, that little glitch fixed. Phew. Man. Note to self, uh, you can hit, hit the hospital if you're not careful. Alright, AI control dude, go away. You go away. Dev mode. There we go. Okay, so we've now visited um, Children's Hospital of Texas. <laughs> A little closer than anyone wanted us to, I think. Why is it showing me Beaumont again? Don't want to go there. I need to be going to... Of D flight plan. Oh, my flight plan is gone. That destination was uh, KCR M KCRP. Uh, why didn't it take the K? K C R P. Enter. No, nope, why did it go in as origin? I said destination. K. C. R. P. Enter. Ding! Rock and roll. Alright, let's go figure this out. Now we're back under control, or at least as much control as we ever have. Bo -bo 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 -bo. Beautiful scenery, though. 160. Woo! That's a wave. Close to an hour flight. All right. Let's trim everything back out. Gears up again. That was fun. That was a fun thing that happened. Oh, it's plane below us. Can't quite see him. Do 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 do. Trim out, man. Come on. SWA 2607 at 1800 feet you must be going down for landings okay let's do the heading think let's set our altitude
set it for 7,000 feet. Altitude mode on, heading mode on, autopilot. Whoop. All right, let me go change my hospitals again. Copy. Paste. File save. This one needs to be. Oops. Driss goal. Children's. It's all file save kaboom rock and roll okay let me make sure my overlay changed here it did sweeps Ground speed 258 knots, so we are cruising. Okay. Why did this? AP on. We'll fly at night for a while because it's cool and soothing. And then I'll turn the time back when we get close. Alright. So, we have now visited... Um... Christus St. Elizabeth Hospital in Beaumont. Christus... Jasper Memorial Hospital in Beaumont, uh, Texas Children's Hospital in Houston, which we may have run into. I can neither confirm nor deny. Uh, and we are now on our way to Driscoll Children's Hospital in Corpus Christi. That looks like that's going to be pretty good for a trim right there. Now, oh, creeping up again. Separator on what? cruising cruising along at an airspeed of 238 knots which converts to I don't know I can't see my own overlay but that'll tell you uh, 265 knots ground speed that's moving along pretty good We're still climbing, even though I keep trying to trim it down. I should be doing this the properly way with, um... Doing, uh, VOR flights and things like that, but I'm not, so there you go. wonder if I can adjust the time. Uh, 
I'm if I can. It'd be bad. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, I can change it from here. There we go. Now it's daylight again. Boom. Magic. Because I would actually like to be able to see the Gulf of Mexico when we get there. Should be it coming up there on the left, maybe? I mean, not that, that's a lake, but you know what I'm saying. Out there. Hard to tell. Wow, this thing is trimmed nicely and just humming along. You see what interesting stuff do we have around here? Nothing. I see the back of of the airplane. Yeah, okay. There's nothing to see here, apparently. So when I embarked on this project, it was like, I'm going to do this thing. Let's do this thing. Visit all the hospitals, blah, blah, blah. How many are there? 157. That doesn't seem so bad. Some of them are really far apart. Now here in Texas, there are 17 of them, I think. Yeah, 17 of them in Texas. And don't forget, Texas is a really big place. So, like this one, it was a hundred and some nautical miles. Almost 200 nautical miles down here. Corpus Christi from Houston. Then I have to turn around, so... I have things marked on a fancy map of Texas. So, we've done... Beaumont, Beaumont, Houston, Corpus Christi. Then we have to go back up San Antonio, Austin, Waco, Dallas, Fort Worth, Wichita Falls, Abilene, San Angelo, and either up this way or this way, depending. But, you know, it's a trek out here to El Paso. As anyone who's lived in Texas could probably tell you, I would imagine. Should probably take a look at what our fuel situation is, because apparently... Um, MS Flight Sim is not great with the realism on... Um, you know, that 
What's the word I'm looking for? Help me out. Fuel usage. Um, there's cabin pressure, differential PSI, fuel quantity. Um, I don't know what that means. I guess I have a lot still. I don't know. Or I'm about out. I don't know. But yeah, it's apparently not... The actual fuel consumption is not right. Like, this plane is supposed to have a 900 mile range. If we follow that that's almost... It's getting close to out of gas. We haven't made anywhere close to 900 mile range. So I might have to throw in some more gas before we get down here, which is kind of ridiculous. Famal dusting service. Cool. Sometimes the cool stuff is just looking around at what weird things are around you. You know, it'll probably happen. I'll get this flight done. And Flight Sim won't give me credit for it. It seems to do that sometimes. It keeps a logbook of your flights and the number of hours you've logged and things like that. And I feel like mine has said 27 for a while. It just doesn't seem to move. So somebody remind me to change the call sign next time. I changed it on the map, but I didn't change it in the plane. I'm supposed to be doing uh, EL4K, because, you know, Extra Life for kids. I could do EL4TK, I guess. Echo Lima 4 Kilo. Also, this is where I should have some extra like videos to show so y'all don't have to just watch scenery slowly go by, I guess. I could tell you what we're about. Extra Life is a charity organization, uh, an arm of Children's Miracle Network Hospitals that enables and empowers gamers like myself to play games and heal kids um, to raise money for their local Children's Miracle Network Hospitals through gaming. As I always describe it, it's like some people do walkathons or danceathons, but I'm an indoor nerd. I do gameathons. Um, get your friends, family, etc., to sponsor you to play games for some period of time. Um, you can stream, you can not stream, you can do video games, you can do tabletop, you can do board games, you can do uh, basketball if you want. Um, either way, uh, play games and you can like say you don't have to stream you could take pictures of the games you're playing you could just post what you're playing on social media uh, whatever and ask for your friends family co-workers social media contacts whatever to um, donate to you to sponsor you to play games for some period of time we have a national game day that comes up on November 7th this year where we will all be trying to do 24 straight hours. It's pretty hard anymore. I'm getting to be an old guy, uh, but I will still be doing it. Um, in fact, I will be streaming some of this. Um, 
as well as some uh, Star Wars Squadrons, and uh, who knows what all else. Maybe some board games. I wish things are weird this year. We normally get together and have an excellent game day with 120, 125, 130 some people um, in one of our offices downtown. Uh, we obviously can't do that this this year due to the stupid 19 virus. Um, and in general, our inability to control it here in the U.S. Uh, so we are all doing our own thing this year, which is going to be harder because normally, normally for that 24 hours, as like I said, we do it in our office, one of the offices my company owns. Um, I am normally a host and spend a lot of time running around, getting people set up, getting food in and out, uh, you know, that kind of jazz. Basically playing host. Um, and that, you know, helps me <laughs> stay awake for 24 hours. Um, it's usually late into the night, you know, after midnight before I really get to stop being crazy um, and play games myself. And then, you know, by that I'm half the day through, but this year it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. 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 Not like McGruff the crime dog or something, but you know. Okay. Well, I think, yeah, we're definitely getting over the Gulf of Mexico sort of area here, aren't we? It'll be time to start heading down in a minute. Should check that fuel then, see where we're at. Yeah, it's definitely going to get weird. Uh, according to this, we have... Well, let me go. We have 64 gallons. And we are burning 77 an hour. Which is, again, a little bit crazy. Of course, it's entirely possible if the flight didn't start me with a full tank. Uh... Let's just tweak a little bit. Here we go. Now we got enough gas, we don't crash. Yeah, so if this was full, what's that? So at full, this is at 40% we're 50 gallons. So let's say, let's put it at 50. 73 gallons in each tank. So this thing would have held 144, 146 gallons total. At 77 gallons per hour, that is like two hours of flight time. This thing is supposed to make 900 miles. It will not. You can't go that fast, so they have definitely something goofy with their um, fuel rates here. There we go. That was weird. Like the prop was stuck for a minute. <laughs> That's a bad thing when the prop is stuck, by the way. I wonder why we're suddenly now dropping, too. I wonder if the speed went down because I raised the... I mean, technically... Port O'Connor Private Heliport. Well, okay then. Um... Increasing the fuel, increase the weight, and the speed went down. Could do, could be, I don't know. I don't know, I'm not a rocket surgeon. Why are you hassling me?
Alright, so if we make it to Corpus Christi, I'm going to punch in for San Antonio and get most of the way over there if we have time. I think we will. I see this thing moves. And land in San Antonio, then taking off, we can hit the hospital in San Antonio, then Austin and Waco next time. And then Tyler slash Longview, Texas. Whoops. Oh. What is beeping at me? should probably check everything here oh I think I lost my waypoint I don't know if I can find the hospital that's bad <sighs> buggers 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 It's gonna need me to do a crap. All right. Well, to figure out how to do the hospital, I guess. But anyway, we're enjoying some beautiful scenery over the Gulf of Mexico and the intercoastal waterway thing, I think, is here. Um, we got some ocean. Or gulf, I suppose. Land on that side. Can I put this visor down? No? Yeah, seems like a mess. <laughs> So I may have trouble finding the hospital because it ate my waypoint. And I can't put in a direct GPS coordinate waypoint from in the plane. It won't let you. I believe that is a thing the actual plane would do, but it's not supported in the sim, so. I'm kind of borked on that one. Apparently 74 degrees and 62 degrees are the warmest things are going to get in the PC. The GPU has been running all this time. It's still at 74 degrees. The CPU is at 62 right now and it's been topping at 64. But again, it's water cooled, so I would expect it to be a little lower. This mic keeps moving away and then it doesn't want to pick up anymore. Weird so much for professional broadcast microphones, right? Oh, snap.
Oh, snap. You can sometimes see ships and stuff down here, too, when you're cruising about. I wonder if I can see enough on my nav map thing back here. I don't even see my plane at the moment. No, I mean, I really don't see my plane at the moment. Where? Whoops. Where did I go again? <laughs> it keeps popping over me and then it goes away. Okay, well I think... I think using that nav map I can find the hospital maybe. We'll have to see. It can be a little dodgy. She's a wee bit dodgy. I can probably can probably fake it. <laughs> Better stop this descent here pretty quick. <laughs> We're not going to make it there. Okay, that's probably doing it. Some great scenery. Let's take a peek out the window. Why? There we go. San Jose Island. Hey, who's... Someone stowed away. Who else is on the plane with me, man? That's not cool. Yeah, 
Yeah, I should also note that um, we're probably going to fly over some restricted airspace, much like we just did in Houston, where we probably weren't supposed to be in that airspace without permission. But, you know, I did it anyway, because why not? Again, not a professional pilot, kids. Do what I don't do or whatever. I don't know how it works, okay? So we're going to jet across Corpus Christi Bay and right on the other side, like two blocks in, it looks like should be the hospital. McCampbell, 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 McCampbell. think there's Driscoll Children's Hospital if I set a waypoint at Gemjo maybe eh, I'll just cruise on see what happens I think I need to be more this direction though think this map gets close enough I might be able to actually recognize it it's a big place all right and we are gonna start heading down again Yeah, so I think we're flying right towards it right now. It should be between... There's the river coming in over there. There's the little bay over there where the Naval Air Station is. Off to the left. To the right, I see the river coming in. Let's get ready to do some autopilot-y things here so I can set it for 400 feet current heading. Ocean Drive soon. Looks like I might still want to go a little bit to the right.
Okay, I think we're headed right over it. Just about. Should be this little campus right in front of us, I think. Right there. Oh, snap. We're also going to hit it. Crap. <laughs> okay. Whew. Good gravy. So again, we are, what time is it? It's only nine. Eh, all right. Let's put her down. This is going to be a hell of a right hand turn, isn't it? Also, see, kids, we're way below glide slope here. You shouldn't be trying things like this at home. <laughs> Coming down way too fast. Here we go. I got that lined up better than I expected, honestly. the ground though. Must be a crosswind. I didn't look at the wind indicator down there. It's gone. Oh no, there is a crosswind, but it's blown us that way. We should be having an easier time of this. But we are not. Wasn't terrible. I've had worse. <laughs> okay. Taxi up here. Should probably get clear of the runway or something. You know, ATC likes you to get off the runway or whatever. I don't know. Seems crazy to me. SM. Right, we're coming up to a cross here to a taxiway.
Corpus Ground Dumper Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra Alpha request taxi to parking. Yes, I leave the little arrows on because I can't find where I'm going otherwise. I think airports are confusing on the outside. Wait till you try to navigate them inside. Oh, I heard you. Do 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 taxi 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 All right once we get over here I'm going to put in a flight for here to Hughes, not to Houston, San Antonio, I think. We'll go ahead and do that, but I'll get fuel. See how long it will take to get to San Antonio, New York City. Van, get out of the way. I will hit you. Just for something to do. Just because I'm bored. Okay. All right, I'm going to cheat shutting this down. Okay. Ground services request fuel supply. Corpus Ground Dumper Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Alpha, could you please send a fuel truck? Is he though? Where's he coming from? That's what I want to know. Oh, there he is. Okay. So let's go put in, and we'll just do it in the machine here. Let me go find. Um, flight plan, I need search gizmo over there, um, airports, I am at KCR something, KCRP. Set as departure. Let's look for San Antonio. Uh, San Antonio International. Sure, why not? Let's get, pick a giant one. Uh, set as flight plan destination. What's this say? It's going to take us an hour and nine minutes. Hmm. Oh, fuel trucks here. What? Ooh. Ooh, we're over our weight? Oh, 
What? That's why it didn't do that before. Um, all right, that should be enough. We'll do that. Alpha Sierra X ray Alpha request taxi for straight out departure with golf. Taxi to and hold short runway one tree using taxiway alpha docker golf sierra alpha. Oh, I didn't actually put so let's put this in the gizmo down here. Light plan. Let us. Okay, well that's origin. Destination. Remove waypoints. Add destination. We are going to case at. K S A T. Enter. Oops, I didn't get the T. K S A T. Enter. San Antonio. All right. We got it. Active flight. Let's do this thing, shall we? Okay, I got to figure out where I'm taxiing to. Gonna miss these geniuses that are still standing here. Oh, it probably put on the brake. Nope, it didn't. Interesting. There's my taxi. speeding I think at the moment but I don't care because <laughs> this is dull maybe you should be doing trivia while I do or maybe not. I don't know. Look, I don't know, sandwich guy. Why you gotta hate? <laughs> Why is there a van? in the middle of the taxiway. Why are there two of them and they appear to just be parked there? I wonder if it's going to make me wait on this guy coming in. Holding short. Corpus Tower, Dahar Alpha, Sierra, X-ray, Golf, Sierra, Alpha, ready at runway one tree, departing straight out. Dahar Alpha, Sierra, X-ray, Golf, Sierra, Alpha, cleared for takeoff, runway one tree, traffic, is generic on final. Departing straight out, approved. Golf, Sierra Alpha, 
I did. Shut up. Okay, flaps should be in takeoff. They are. Now well, let's do this thing. Man, didn't seem to want to get up that time. Flaps up. All right, we're going to do this thing you're not supposed to do and turn before we hit the end of the runway. Because I'm a terrible person, I do what I want. Talk about take off exactly the wrong direction. Okay, 119 nautical miles, here we go. He was coming into land. Look at him. Yeah, you turn the next taxiway, dude. I don't know what that means. Okay, we are on our way to San Antonio International Airport. And that will set us up nicely for our next session. And I can hit San Antonio Hospital first. Then Austin, Waco, and what's the other one? Tyler. Here we go, kids. Alright, let me get rid of that tab. Whoops. And fail. That's a big airport. <laughs> Okay, does it have ILS frequency? Where's COM frequencies? They're there. Wow, okay. There's a bazillion of them. I guess I'll just wait till I get there. Because I don't know which of those is which. <coughs> Whack! 
All right, sadly, we are leaving the Gulf of Mexico behind and heading out cross country for San Antonio Internationals Airports, which is 106.7 nautical miles from here. We are currently cruising along at a pretty good clip, uh, 247, does that say? Ground speed? There we go. Oh, it's got it right there. I just figured out what that clicking is I hear every once in a while. It's that fuel tank switching automatically. So this was going to take what? How long? Didn't it say like an hour and something? But we're doing 200 and something, 230 and we're 100 and nautical miles away. It's a half an hour. I think the thing is goofy. Day for flying, I guess. Or wind is three knots coming from the left. So that's the thing that happens. And when we get here, we will park it for the evening and be ready for next time. Because reasons. I should really. Like, I don't know if there's airspace I'm supposed to be avoiding here or anything like that. And I should probably do stuff like that or use the waypoints to zoom myself in. But, meh. <laughs> I wonder if this thing can do a barrel roll. I wonder if this thing can do a loop. Sure, it can do a loop. Maybe we'll get into that next time. Oh, need to change my hospitals again. I 
according to my map, I'm drifting off to the left, but according to the sim, wind should be pushing me to the right. Cool. Um, I haven't looked up yet. What is the hospital in San Antonio? Ack. Hitting stuff. San Antonio Children's Hospital of San Antonio. How about that? That's easy enough. It didn't type there. Okay. Well... Okay. See if that changed things. Whoops. It did cool. Cool. Okay, and stop that. All right, there's some rule about going north, south, or east, west, and how high you're supposed to fly, and I don't remember what it is, so. Again, I'm a terrible person. Don't learn to fly from me. I know basically how to fly um, from simulators, and my dad was for a while a private pilot, and then eventually got his instructor's license even. I just never actually took lessons. I should have, because I could have gotten them cheap, you know? But I didn't. So here we are. I would like to fly, like actually fly someday, I've just never done it. We're going to get to sunset again. Where's the sun at now? Yep. Probably about the time we get there. So again, next session on Thursday will be San Antonio, Austin, Waco, Longview, Tyler, Longview, I don't know which, and that might be it. Or we might have time for more. If we do, we can hit two in Dallas before we come. Good times. Hey, the flight is going great. Thank you. I have been past, um, let's see. What hospitals did we do already? Christus, uh, Jasper Memorial and Christus St. Elizabeth in Beaumont. Um, and then where'd my, where's my paper? lost my paper 
We had too many papers up here. That's what the problem is. There we go. Uh, then we got... We also visited Driscoll Children's Hospital in Corpus Christi, which is where we just came from. And we saw uh, Texas Children's Hospital in Houston. So that's all. So, whoa, pay attention to where you're going. I might, might have accidentally flown into... Texas Children's Hospital in Houston. That's what happens when you're not paying attention. We are now on our way to San Antonio to park for the evening, and then I'll hit the hospital in San Antonio next time, which is Children's Hospital of San Antonio. We will also hit um, Austin, what did I say, Austin, Waco, and Longview next time. Right now we are getting some awesome sunset times. Go Texas. You missed the Gulf of Mexico earlier. It was pretty spectacular back there somewhere. I really wish you could have someone come clean the windshield on this plane. It's kind of dirty. Cristoval Ranch. I don't know what that is. And as I mentioned earlier, we are doing this for the kids. So I am visiting all 157 North American Children's Miracle Network hospitals uh, that participate in the Extra Life program, I'm doing it for Extra Life. So, you know, if you like what you see, or even if you don't, don't punish the kids because I'm not very good. Uh, please consider donating to the Extra Life link that is in my Twitch profile. All of the money collected goes to our local hospital, which for me is Riley Hospital for Children here in Indianapolis. That money provides for care for those who can't afford it, which is super important right now uh, with our current world situation. Um, people losing their jobs and possibly their insurance. It also provides for research money into childhood illnesses and diseases. And it provides for child life services, which is my favorite part. Uh, that helps kids be kids while they face scary stuff in the hospital. It's an excellent program, so please consider giving. If you want to do more, you're a gamer, you'd like to participate, whatever, you can also visit extra-life.org and sign up yourself to play games and heal kids. It, there was just a flash outside my house. Are we getting thunderstorms or something? didn't think we were supposed to do that. Maybe I better look and see what's happening. Where's my weather app? <laughs> huh. I didn't think it was supposed to be happening, but okay, cool. Yep, looks like it's going to rain till you know, tomorrow afternoon. Cool. All right. Let's see. So far, since we've been flying, we have raised... What does it say? $170. So thanks to those who have already donated. That is exceptionally swell of you. Yeah, I just, like, didn't know anything was going on. I just, there's suddenly a flash outside the window. I was like, what? And then, of course, I have to, like, was that in-game? Did that come from the window? Um, because I 
flew some of this earlier practicing, making sure I had all my overlays ready and stuff. And uh, when I was doing that, there were thunderstorms here in Texas and it was flashy and weird. But luckily they moved out so I didn't have to fly through that. I did reset the time, though. <laughs> um, I cheated a little bit so you could see the hospitals because it would technically be dark. I think I set the time back two hours because it should be full dark here already. But since I'm just going to land right now and not looking at a hospital where we'll leave it like it is. I can land in the dark. They have lights on runways and stuff. It's all good. Actually, I could, again, turn on the autopilot and this thing would almost land itself, but that defeats the purpose of flying to every place, doesn't it? If the machine does it for you. See, there's a... Bo boning breath? I don't know what that is, but just past that marker you can see the flashing lights of a runway from some airport right now on out there in the distance we're getting in 335 nautical miles it's going down pretty quick this is a really fast plane And then we get to try and land again without breaking anything. I have to come up with some incentives for people. Like, what can I do to get extra donations? Like, $25 or something. I do a loop and try to do it without crashing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else to add. I'll fly past your house I don't I don't want to add too much to this it's gonna take months as it is but I would do fun things like loops and stuff in between barrel rolls things like that I just don't know what else to put on there I need to turn off some of those little pop-ups too because they're annoying Oops, I don't know what that's pointing me to. Oh, there's another plane up above me. Cool. All right, let's go. Boop. Can I get to oops, San Antonio approach? Let's go ahead and start heading down a little bit. Russell Paradise? <laughs> what that is? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Sorry. So grumpy. Air traffic controllers, no sense of humor at all. We 
should, I think, be coming in pretty close to lined up with the runway. Yep. Not too bad. Oh, wait. Is that even the right, the right airport? Where am I going? I'm so lost. Oh, okay. We're actually going to the northern one. But still, not coming in too bad. All good. strobe lights on beacon nav and taxi are all on taxi lights are on why are the taxi lights on all right well taxi lights won't go off so there you go Okey-dokey. Clear to land runway. One tree right southwest. One zero zero two. There's a southwest flight coming in beside me. San Antonio Tower Southwest. Two four two eight one one miles northwest inbound ILS runway. One tree right approach. Southwest. Two four two eight San Antonio Tower. Cleared ILS runway. One tree right approach. Altimeter. Two neither decimal neither. Right? Okay. Clear ILS runway one three right approach southwest two four two eight. Landing gear going down. our airport. We're gonna go past and land back this direction. It looks like. So that's cool. Look around at beautiful San Antonio at night. They keep calling me the generic. Clear to land runway one tree right southwest two four two eight. All right, first flaps in. Here we go. It's going to get fun.
Too fast, too fast, whatever. I do what I want. <laughs> Till I crash. San Antonio Tower, generic November 770, Foxtrot, echo one two miles northwest inbound ILS runway, one three right approach. F flight one six nine or one turn next taxiway. Ball flaps. Uh, gear is down and safe. One three right. Caution the generic landing runway. One three left. F flight one six nine er. One exit runway when able. We changed their mind and put me on a different runway. Clear to land runway one three right. Docker Golf Sierra Alpha. Doggy. All right, here we go, kids. It's gonna get real now. Whatever. down. It's decided it wanted me to go this way.
decimal niner for Dumber Golf Sierra Alpha. All right. Didn't I just do that? San Antonio Ground Dumber Alpha Sierra X Ray Golf Sierra Alpha request taxi to parking. Okay. I'll do that. San Antonio ground, in flight one six nine or one request taxi to parking. In flight one six nine or one taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway cross runway three one left belted golf out for cross runway four. It's really a little surprising it's sending me across this runway, but okay. Squirrely enough, is it sending me between <laughs> these two? What what's even happening right now? Alright, we're gonna call it right there. <laughs> Parking brake on. What do you want? Why are you hassling me? Okay, so yeah, shut up. Um Oops. We need throttle. Oops. What? No. Flaps up. Fuel tank closed. Go up there, there we go. I want generator off, battery off, and we're done. Kaboom! Woohoo! We made it! Uh, and that was another 42 minutes of flight. So, and that's where we will end today. Um, I don't feel like it gave me the last one either, but whatever. Um, so as always, uh, I am playing exclusively for Extra Life. So if you've enjoyed your time, please consider donating to the Extra Life link that is in my Twitch profile. Um, I will be back again on Thursday where we will start, uh, segment two of our hospital visits. Hitting again, San Antonio, uh, Austin, Wake. Go, we go, we go, we go. Uh, and Longview. And then possibly Dallas if we get over there. Um, so I will be back again 7 p.m. on Thursday. Uh, until then, stay safe out there and, you know, fly well.